Hello everybody, welcome to Just Upright. My name is Doc Jing Bruder. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and I'm a certified dementia practitioner. So it's been a while since I made my last video, so I'm glad to be back. Um, so today I'm going to answer one of the most common questions I receive uh, from fellow foreign trained physical therapists in different parts of the world. Okay, uh, so it's about uh, the visa. So can I file my own uh, immigrant or working visa? Okay, so this is what we're going to answer today uh, in today's episode of Just Up Right. Okay, so before I answer this question, please bear in mind that I am not an immigrant lawyer and I am not giving this as a replacement for um, immigrant lawyer advice. So you always have to ask your employer, uh, an immigrant lawyer, uh, about your specific situation before you take action, okay? So this is just based on my experience, uh, based on what I know from the experiences of my colleagues, you know, about the, the visa uh, that uh, physical therapists use, use uh, to be employed here in the U.S., okay? So I'm going so to discuss the working visa H-1B and EB-3, okay? So employer-based type 3 uh, immigrant visa, okay? So with this H-1B and EB-3, you need a sponsor, okay? You cannot file your own working visa and you cannot file your own uh, immigrant visa in this situation, okay? If it is um, for uh, working purposes, okay? Uh, Okay, so this is a good website. I like this website, the emi-usa.com, uh, SGM Law Group. Uh, I am not connected to them in any way. I just like their website because they have um, articles about working visa, immigrant visa that are easily understood. Uh, so if you have any questions about working or immigrant visa, you can go to this website and they have uh, resources there that you can read okay so this is for immigrant visa so for the immigrant visa it says here a very important step in almost every employment based green card process is to have an employer obtain a perm labor certification on behalf of the foreign uh, trained physical therapist in, in your behalf okay this procedure that involves having your employer go through an extensive recruitment process in order to ensure that you are not displacing any qualified u.s workers okay so uh you know as it implies they want to prioritize of course the u.s citizen here who are looking for a job so they have to prove that indeed there is a shortage of job even though they run through the for example the whole process of three kinds of this advertisements you know job order must run for at least 30 days newspaper ad this must run in a high circulation paper on two separate sundays three auxiliary ads posted in areas like internet radio or college campuses and after the ads have run their course 30 days must be given for potential applicants to respond during this time your employer must consider the qualified candidates and give reasons for rejecting each one if no candidates take the position, then your employer must file an EPA 9089 form with uh, the Department of Labor. During this step, there is always the possibility that your employer will be audited either randomly or through targeted process, okay? All right, so based on what we read, it is very clear the reason why you cannot file for your own immigrant visa. You must have a sponsor, an employer, who will do all that legwork of uh, getting the Department of Labor certification, okay? Now we're going to discuss why you cannot get or file your own working visa. Okay, so for this is for work visa, okay, or the H-1B. Okay, you must have an employer or a sponsor, sorry. For most work visa, this is your employer, okay? I'm not sure about these outliers. You can be your own sponsor, but I'm sure this doesn't apply to us as physical therapists, okay? 
uh, and then another one is if you are not inside the US you're outside the US you're on, you are in your own country you will need to go through a consular interview at the US consulate or embassy in your home country okay so just a recap what I discuss here is just pertaining to working visa h1b and EB3 okay there are so many other kinds of uh, visas out there guys but these are common visas that employer or agency used to petition foreign educated or foreign trained physical therapists okay uh, and it is clear, you know, based on the USCIS uh, regulations and the websites that we uh, read, that you must have a sponsor, an employer. It can be an employer, direct employer, or an agency uh, to file for your working visa or the EB3 uh, employer based uh, Type 3 immigrant visa. You cannot file it for your own. Uh, now, if the question is, can I file my own tourist visa to take the exam? The answer is yes, okay? No one can file your own uh, tourist visa except you. But before you go to the consulate to get the tourist visa, you have to make sure that you have all the paperwork necessary uh, for you to prove that you're going to the U.S. to take the exam. You know, you have to show the authorization to test the ATT from FSBPT or you, they might ask for a letter from the state that you are eligible to take the exam. Whatever the consulate uh, need uh, from you to prove that you're indeed going to the U.S. to take the NPTE, a National Physical Therapy Examination, you must have it, have it with you. If you haven't watched my video, I will put the link there uh, about the step-by-step -step procedure on how to apply in the, uh, to the U.S as a foreign trained physical therapist. There must be a good timing between getting the APT, scheduling your consular interview to, the, to your home country. So you have to time it, okay? Because uh, the APT has you know a period of time that you can only use it uh, valid. And then of course, uh, there's a waiting period in your consular um, embassy Okay, uh, on how or when you can get into an interview slot. Okay, so please watch that step-by-step -step video and it will help you. I also have a playlist and I can put the link down below about, you know, I have more than 40 videos on how to apply as a physical therapist here in the U.S. and that might answer most of your questions. So watch them before you send any question to me. Um, watch the videos first, take your time, and so that uh, you might find the answers already there. Okay. So if you haven't checked it out yet, I have three books published and they are available at Amazon.com. You just type Gina Lynn Ruder and these books will pop out. Okay, so the first one is PT Path to US, a foreign trained physical therapist step-by-step -step guide to US application. So if you want to have a copy of that. And then practical tips for therapists prior to migrating or starting your US practice full of uh, wisdom, words of wisdom before you start your U.S. practice here, and practical tips to improve your posture, balance, and uh, decrease fall risk, the Just Upright quote, okay? So please share this video to all people that you know who will benefit from it, uh, from your, uh, to your colleagues, uh, you know, older adults, and so that we can reach as many people as we can and help as much as we can. Thank you so much and stay blessed. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to hit the subscribe button below to be updated with the latest video releases. Share this channel to other people you know who will benefit from Just Upright videos. Thank you again and stay blessed!